prosperity miracle workers. You see, they want to see a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. And man, the man wants his eyes back so he can see the woman hips. <laughs> Want his feet to be here so he can go back and party. That's right. That was a song in the 70s. Party. That's true. And, and that's what they want. That's right. Most folk want healing because they are convicted at that time. That's right. But when they start feeling a little better, he or she go right back. To the same madness that they were in. Listen at this, viewers. I said, even if God used any of these things yes. out here to work any miracle, I don't care. I'm not impressed. That's right. You still can go to hell. That's right. And let's get Bible for this. Matthew chapter 7 and at verse 21. Listen. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But what? But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in him. God wants you to obey him. That's it. Blind man, you receive your sight back? Wonderful. Wonderful. Woman, you got your hip back in place? Wonderful. Amen. Hey, fella, you're back from the dead. You are? Wonderful. That's right. Hey, man, broken arm is back in place? Wonderful. That's right. I don't care nothing about that. That's right. God says, not everyone that says unto to me, Lord, God. Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Not everyone that says that call upon the Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be saved. But he that doeth the will of my father, you've got to do God's will. Many will say to me in that day. Many. Here it is. Here many. it is right here. Many will here say it to me. Here. You out there bragging about you work miracles. I don't care if you cause people fingernails to grow. That's right. What would I care? That's right. That don't impress God. No. After your fingernails grow long enough to get a manicure, you ought to go to hell just to say. That's right. Eh? Many will say to me in that day. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Lord have we not prophesied in thy name? Ah, uh, that's what the fellow was saying to me. I, I, I can show you a list of all type of prophetic happenings and it came to pass. Listen, I don't care if you prophesied that the moon will be cheese and you took a flight up there and cut a slice and put it on your wheat bread with some bologna and salami. That's right. I don't care. That's right. If you don't obey God, you and your cheese is going to hell. That's right. Miracles don't save Nobody. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Who will take God? Get this. Many will say to me in that day. Many will say to me in that day. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy then name? Then we prophesied in your name. And in thy name have cast out devils. We cast out devils. And in thy name. And in thy name. Many we've done a whole lot of wonderful work. Wonderful work. work. Yes. And then will I profess unto then them. Then God going to talk. I never knew you. What? Then will I profess unto them. I never knew Raise you. Raise the dead. Make the dumb talk. Make the blind see. Let the ears come. Come open, let the lame walk, let the lame shout, let them run around the church in the Indiana 500, slap your hands on the head, let them fall on the floor, let them get back up, let them go to the cemetery and tell all the dead, and let all the people in the cemetery come back That's and right. stand on their feet, but when it's and when it's all over, then the will, scripture says, then will I profess unto them, I after never you've knew done you. doing all that, amen. I never knew you. After you pull all that off. I never knew you. God said. Then will I profess unto them I never knew you. What? How do I feel about them? Depart from Get me. Get away from me. Ye that work iniquity. Wait a minute. Amen. They raise the dead. They open the eyes of the blind. The lame man walk. The broken arm is healed. And what did God call all that? Ye that work iniquity. He said your works is the works of a sinner. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? Not even God That's right. will credit someone who he used to heal. Right. If they don't obey his word. That's right. You get no credit. No credit. For none of your works. That's right. That's right. This is what the scripture means. Obedience. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Obedience better than sacrifice is better than, better, better than sacrifice than sacrifice. That's right. Than the offering of the fat of rams. Of the fat of rams. Your miracle works.
ain't worth a dime. Right. Even if you prophesy and it come to pass. That's right. It ain't worth a dime. That's right. If you don't obey God. That's right. Someone said, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. For a miracle to work, that person got to be obeying God. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Someone said, prove it, Pastor Jennings. In the days of Moses, they threw down the rod of Aaron. Aaron rod turned to a serpent. That's right. And Pharaoh's magicians who were idolatrous. That's right. Threw down their rod. And Moses and Aaron went under Pharaoh. Here, here, here. I want to debunk you that got in mind that if a miracle is done, then that person has to be obeying God. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Because you know there's a scripture that talk about signs right. and lying Line wonders. wonders. Lying wonders. Huh? That's right. Scripture talk about signs That's right. and wonders that tell a lie. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Wait a minute. Mm. In the book of 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 9. Wait a minute. Amen. Even him who's coming, whom God used. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. No, God used him. Is after the working of Satan. That means God sent him. Oh, the God of this world. That's right. The devil. That's right. Sent this man. Even him who's coming is Even after the him. working of So the here, sun. here, you out there working miracles. Did God send you mm. or the devil? Amen. Your signs and wonders. Someone say, well, how can it be a lying wonder if you see it happening? Happening. What make it a lying wonder because it is done by the power of of the father of lies that's it's still a wonder but it come under the heading lying wonder because it is done by the spirit of falsehood that's right that's right go with it god they don't know you jumping in oh man my my pastor is a miracle worker by what spirit by what spirit that's right Viewers, you never thought of this. That's right. And you're getting carried away over so-called miracle workers. Oh, no. Oh, there are two working miracles. That's right. God and the devil. And the devil. Read that. Give chapter and verse. And then we go to the Old Testament yes. and get what happened in the days of Moses. Is everybody all right? All right. I want to educate. This is what the Holy Ghost brought today. Amen. Listen, listen at this now. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse you 9. You know, God brought this to me yesterday. Amen. I mean, I was on a job site and the Holy Ghost brought this to me yesterday. And I was walking around on the job site with things in my hand preaching it. Mm. I mean, I, I, I was just preaching it. Amen. And I'm on the job site now. That's right. That's right. But then he says, son, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 9. Get this, viewers. We want to take you to school today. Amen. What? Give chapter and verse again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and the ninth verse. All right. Even him who's coming is after the working of Even Satan. Even him who's coming is after the working of the devil. With all power. All power. He's a powerful satanic worker. That's right. All right. And signs. He do signs. And lying. The signs that he do, he do miracles. That's right. And what? And lying wonders. And lying wonders. Lying wonders. What else? And with all deceivable. With all deceivable. And righteousness in them that Wait perish. a minute. They are, they are, he's functioning right. under deception. That's right. These signs and wonders be done. And the people are being deceived by the signs and wonder until the Holy Ghost said. And with all deceivable, With all tricks. Of unrighteousness. With and all trickery. With all deceivableness. With all undermining. That's right. With all bamboozling. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. With all, all deceivableness, deception of unrighteousness in them that perish, of doing that which is wrong of they, them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. They're not doing it in truth. That's right. They're not doing it by the spirit of truth. That's right. They're doing it by the power of the spirit of error. That, uh, 
That's right. What? Because they receive not the love of the truth. They receive not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. So they can be saved. And for this cause. For this cause. God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Wait a minute. They don't want to hear God. That's right. They so carried away with their miracle working. That's right. So God sent them a strong delusion and make them believe that what's being done is being done by the power of God. That they but are. yet it's being right. done by the power of the devil. That's right. But God will give them a strong delusion. That's right. For what reason is this delusion given? That they should believe a lie. That they all might be dead. So when they say, oh, God called and sent me to preach, but yet they don't believe all the book, what are they believing? That they should believe a lie. But yet they work miracles and don't believe that there's one God, what are they believing? That they should believe a lie. And yet they work signs and wonders. That's right. But what are they believing? That they should believe a lie. That what? That they all might be damned. So they can go to hell. Who believe not the truth. But what? But had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, now let's get to Old Testament that I may straighten you out that think that if someone works miracles, Wonderful. it's only done uh, through and by the power of God. No, sir. No, sir. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Uh -uh. I want to straighten you out here. This That's is right. good. Listen at this. In the book of Exodus chapter 7, we'll start at verse 8. Exodus chapter 7, begin at verse 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron. What is it? Saying, when Pharaoh shall speak unto you. When Pharaoh shall talk to you saying show a miracle for you show a miracle for you then shalt thou say unto Aaron take thy rod yeah. and cast it before Pharaoh and it shall become a serpent all right and Moses and Aaron went unto Pharaoh and they did so all right here's clearly now right. the Lord on one side right and the Lord's messenger with him right that's one side that's right and the Lord made it clear gave them instructions what to do that's right all right. Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and, and it shall become a serpent. And what? And Moses and Aaron went unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. As God commanded. And, and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh. Yes. And before his servants, and it became a serpent. Yes. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. <laughs> and you had the devil and his men on the other side. That's right. Let us remember, Pharaoh... And those that was in Egypt were polytheists. That's right. Polytheistic. Polytheist. There was idolatrous. Oh, yeah. They wasn't worshippers of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at all. At all. But what? Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. And what happened? Now the magicians of Egypt. Wait a minute. Amen. The godly men of Egypt. Now the magicians of Egypt. The magicians, the soothsayers. Of Egypt. Of Egypt. They also did in like manner. They did in like manner. With their enchantment. With their sorcery. For they, their enchantment. Their magic. For, uh -huh. they, for they cast down every man his rod. Wait a minute. Every man. So here you had a bunch of fellows under the influence of the devil. All of them threw down their R-O-D-S. For they cast down. Aaron just had a rod. Right. One. That's right. Why? Represent one God. That's right. One rod, one God. That's right. One power. Glory to God. That's right. One authority. Authority. Mm -hmm. For they cast down every man his rod. They cast down every man. Then that's on uh, the side of Pharaoh. Their rod. And they became serpents. And they. They became serpents. All their rods became serpents. But Aaron's rod. Uh oh. Amen. Aaron's one. Aaron's rod. Did what? Swallowed up their rod. That lets you know that God consumes and defeats the devil all the time. That's right. Now in the book of Exodus chapter 7 still. Says what? And at verse 20. All right. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded. Yes. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river. Yes. In the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. Come on, sir. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died and the river stank. Then what? And the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. Yes. And the magicians of Egypt. <laughs> the devil worked in his too. 
That's right. Come on, son. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantment. Do you hear this? Amen. Yeah. So to think miracles and signs and wonders are wrought by God only. Only. And you got this ideology and only that a person cannot do it unless God is in them. You're wrong. That's wrong. That's right. So again, I said, That's right. don't be moved. Yeah. Don't be impressed. For such are false yeah. apostles. Don't be impressed. Right. Because you see these so-called prophets That's right. working miracles. That don't mean nothing. No. You don't obey the heavenly father, you're going to hell. hell. And God will tell you after all this is done, I get away from me. I don't know you. I never knew I you. I don't know you. Depart, Depart from, from here. Me. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. He has sent you to hell just the same. That's right. All right, you better give me Matthew. Matthew chapter 26 and at verse 11. All right, viewers, I want this to be good for you that's giving your money. To the charlatans yeah. who got you believing that your blessing hang on your amount of money. Yeah. Now, let's understand. Yes, it takes money to pay bills. It takes money to pay your water bill, light bill, gas bill, car note, clothing, food, and all that. I understand that. But when these men, we ain't even talking about that. Let's just set that aside. We're talking about these men that get over media. All forms of media. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they message from the beginning to the end. It's a blessing plan. Preachers on late at night like they're doing an infomercial. That's right. You can wake up three in the morning. See him on BET. That's true. That's right. See him on TBN. That's true. See him on Star Television. See him on the right. local channel in your area. That's true. Telling you. That God sent them. They got a prophetic message from God to teach you how to get rich. You want to know how to get rich? Go to college. Go to college. Take some courses. That's right. Get a seminar. Someone who is an honest investor. That's right. Who show you how to invest and turn your money over. The purpose of the church. Is to save you from the judgment, the wrath of God. That's right. That's coming upon the world. That's right. Here, viewers, here, viewers, here, viewers. God, and I want every prosperity preacher listening that debunk this face Pastor Jennings. Because I'm challenging all of you. God have never sent no preacher. In the history of the scriptures, yeah. from Genesis to Revelation, the sin went out and just preached to people how to get money, how to get, money. Right. How to get rich, That's right. how to get wealthy. That's right. The purpose of the church is to prepare you to meet God like God said Noah, right. to prepare the world to escape the flood. Every prophet, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Amen, and Balaam, and right. Moses, and all the prophets, they were sent of God to warn the people. That's yeah. it. Jesus came here. That's right. He ain't come preaching you get rich. No. He come preaching you get right until the Bible went so far of saying about Jesus, he was rich. But for our sake, he became poor. Now hold it. Hold it now. I got to explain that scripture. That's right. For ye know. Listen, 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 listen. Because this is the mistake that you make, viewer. Right. You think rich, riches, is only in materialism. That's right. After you read that, give me the book of Jude. Yeah. Chapter one. I only got one chapter, so you ain't got to struggle to look for it. Right. Listen. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. Parliament. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich. Though he was rich. Yet for your sakes he became poor. Hold it! Yeah! I got to explain that. Amen. For some liar come along and say, you see that? Jesus was a rich man. Yes, he was and no, he wasn't. That's right. 
Well, how was it he was rich? He was God and everything is his. That's right. Lord, that God, he said, all things the Father have are mine. All things the Father have are, he said, are mine. That's right. Moon and the stars belong to him. That's right. The sea belong to him. That's right. The fish in the sea belong to him. That's right. All the members until he said, all souls are mine. That's right. He ain't talking about money and all that. No. No. His riches was his word. That's right. For the Bible said we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The power of God is the wealth of God. That's right. And the Bible said Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost. That's the riches of God, the spirit of God, the power of God. That's right. So the Bible says what? For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what? That though he was rich. Though he was rich. That for your sakes he became poor. Hold it. When it says for your sake he became poor, that means for your sake he became lowly. That's right. The nature that he had, which was spirit, was a rich nature. Because there was a nature that extends beyond this universe and it's an eternal nature. That's right. Rich mean he's a valuable God. That's right. For our sake he became poor. For our sake he was manifested in the flesh. That's right. And the flesh had the appearance of a poverty stricken man. Yeah. I want to take it apart here. Yeah. Huh? Why? Here you see rich and poor of him. Look at his rich title. King. Look at his poor parents coming out of a manger. That's right. Huh? That's right. You don't find a king coming out of a manger. Yeah. A king come from a palace. That's right. But this king came from eternity yeah. and formed a body in the ghetto. Mm. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Go with take God. That's right. That's why the scripture says, can anything clean come, come, come out, out of Nazareth? Out of Nazareth. Here you had a king, which is God, made a sacrifice, yeah. made a body, yeah. and God was manifested in the flesh. Yeah. Riches was manifested yeah. in poverty. That's right. So the book talked about Jesus' appearance yeah. and said his vice. As many were astonished at thee. Listen. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 14. As many were was amazed at thee. His vices were so his marred. His vice, his appearance was so marred. More than any man. His appearance he looked more poor than any man. Than anybody. And his form more than the sons of men. His what? And his form. His form. More than the sons of men. Amen. Here this poor looking man. Yes. You, you the king of the Jews. Yeah. Why you think they wanted to take up stones to kill him? That's right. There is no beauty that we should desire him. What? There is in Isaiah 53 and verse 2. Look at the prophet talking about his appearance. There is no beauty that we should desire him. He didn't come looking fancy. That's right. Oh, no. That's right. Come looking lowly. That's right. But yet had a broad vocabulary. Oh, yeah. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Here he come looking lowly. Come telling them. Before Abraham was. Yes. yes. I am. I am. He said, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. That's right. And he saw it and was glad. That's right. You ain't yet 50 years old. Yeah. Hey, you tell me you seen Abraham? Yeah. You poor looking thing come telling us. You seen Abraham? That's right. He let them know I'm, I'm not done with you yet. That's right. I guess you got to push on the father. Father. Before Abraham was. I am. I am. I am. After he said that, they took up stones to kill him. To kill him. Are you kidding me? There is no beauty that we should Hallelujah. desire him. Hallelujah. Oh, God. They couldn't see that he was God. That's right. 
Rich was talking through the appearance of poverty. That's right. That's why the Bible says later on to the apostles, God have chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. The weak things of this world to confound them that are mighty. That's right. God come get that which is rejected, which is despised, yes. which is disallowed of men. That's right. And he come get that and make it a preacher. That's right. He come get that and make a people. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? There is no beauty that we should desire. There is no beauty that we should desire. He is despised and rejected of men. And what? A man of sorrows, a and man acquainted, of with sorrows grief. acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from yes. him. Yes. He was despised and we esteemed him not. He was despised. And we esteemed him, not. esteemed him not. All right, let's go back to where we were now. Back at uh, 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 9. Read quick. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That no, they, Matthew. Matthew chapter 26 and verse Matthew 12. Matthew 26, 11 is where we are. I want you to hear this, viewers. Matthew chapter Because 26. you are following these preachers who make you think all your blessings hang on dollars and cents. Yes. And the preachers narrow giving. Yeah. Giving. Offering down two dollars and cents. And if you don't have no money to put in the basket, the preacher will try to make you feel guilty. That's true. That's right. Like the fella come quoting to me. Well, if you give it, God will give it back several times fold. I said, is that the only? And I asked him a question. I said, what's the greatest gift that can be given? He said, well, Jesus. I said, I ain't talking about Jesus. He already gave and died and come on and come back. I said, what's the greatest offering that can be given? He said, well, my life. I said, that goes to show you. Your life is more important than money. That's right. All prosperity preachers are false prophets and liars. And liars. Kenneth Copeland saying, being poor is of the devil and it's a sin. Mm. Now, viewers, if you have a preacher that talk like that and that's teaching you that, he's a liar, a liar. And he's also telling you Jesus' teaching is a lie. That's right. Listen at this and follow me and hear me and let's get educated today. Oh, yeah. And don't you go back to that church no longer. No longer. Uh -huh. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 11. Hear this. For ye have the poor always with you. But me ye have not You better always. begin at verse 10. At verse 10. Listen. When Jesus understood it. When Jesus understood it. He said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? Why, why, why do you trouble the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. Wait a minute. Go to verse 8. At verse 8. All right. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation. 7. At verse 7. At verse 6. All right. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper. Yes. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment. Yes. And poured it on his head as he sat in meat. Uh -huh. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, to what purpose is this waste? Yes. For well, this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Yes. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them. When Jesus understood it, because Jesus knew it had a deeper meaning, you know. That's right. Uh -huh. Why he, he, he was able to see further than there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why trouble thee? Why trouble ye the Why woman? Why did you trouble the woman? For she hath wrought a good work she upon me. She did something me. good. Oh, For ye have the poor always with you. You had the poor with you how long? Always with you. And? But me ye have not always. That's true. Amen. If being poor is a sin, a sin. like you prosperity fakers are preaching, then you are proving not to represent Jesus. That's right. You have proven not to believe in Jesus. That's right. Because viewers, here, 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 you do good if you find one, one of the prosperity fakers, yeah. even mention the poor. They go to a poverty stricken country yeah. and take all their money. Oh, yeah. To make them believe if you do this, Blessings, the windows of heaven will open up. That's right. And all the blessings will come down. Now in the book of St. Mark chapter 12. And we'll start at verse 38. Listen. And he said unto them in his doctrine, beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing. All right, viewers, get this now. Amen. Being poor is not a sin. If you're poor, I pray that God will make provisions for you. That's right. 
but any preacher, yeah, yeah, hear the old troublemaker. Yeah. That goes for if it's your husband that's the oh, pastor, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. or your father, your uncle, or you, your prosperity faker. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If they are teaching, and they are here in America, oh, yeah. and they're doing it in Africa, yes, they're doing it in Europe. Oh, yeah. Men all on television, all night long, yeah. two and three and four in the morning. Yeah. That's true. One man, uh, I was up and uh, fishing through the television, and I think I ran up on Star TV Network. Uh -huh. And there was a liar on there in the wee hours of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Bewitching hour, three o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> and he was there. All by himself with a backdrop screen. Uh -huh. My Lord. Saying, God sent me to preach wealth to you. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. The only wealth that God sent a man to preach is his word. That's right. Get me, viewers. That's right. Listen at this. For the poor you have with you always. Do you hear what Jesus said? For you will always, always have poor people. That's right. Why don't the prosperity liars teach this? Teach that. Why don't they teach it? That's right. That's they go to places and have a big meeting. Yeah. People can't even afford shoes. Yeah. Can't afford food for their clothing. That's right. For their baby. And they take their money and leave. Yes. Glory to God. This, 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 this is last day's preaching. That's right. What do you mean to correct that? That the devil hath took out a place. In the book of Micah chapter 3 and verse 10. Says what? They build up Zion with blood. They build up Zion with blood. And Jerusalem with iniquity. And Jerusalem with sin. The heads thereof. The, the leaders thereof. Judge for reward. Judge for reward. And the priests thereof. And the preachers. Teach for hire. Teach. Teach for hire. That means you got a heart. You got to pay these fellas to preach. That's right. That's right. Many people write me, Pastor Jennings, if we invite you out to preach at our church, how much we got to pay you? Nothing. Nothing. I'm a, I, I'm a free mercenary. That's right. I remember we went to one church years ago, and uh, the people couldn't hold the place. They were standing outside on the sidewalk. You know, some people want me to come because they know our popularity yeah. and they feel as though they're they're very mischievous that they can make money yeah. in their church because of my popularity That's right. and i went inside the church and they kept it under cover that the bishop was a woman preacher who's supposed to have been the apostle and overseer yeah. so i went to the church and people know our teaching our doctrine That's right. our doctrine is what God says don't strengthen the hands of evil doers in other words if I know I don't, you can invite us to preach I'll go if, I'm, if my schedule permits it I'll go but uh, if you got a teaching that's contrary to the Bible I will tell all viewers that I'm going to be in such and such a place but don't give no money that's right yeah I say that over there that's right. That's if you find us going to preach for another preacher's church and that preacher don't believe what's written, just watch what we do. Yeah. If you don't see me reach and give nothing, no, no. don't you reach and give nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because when we go somewhere, many hundreds going to come. Yeah. So we went to that church. We didn't even sit down for the seats to get warm good. Man got up and said, we're going to pass the offering around first for the miracle dollar. Uh -oh. That's the way they duke you. That's right. Start off low and cheap. That's right. Yeah? That's right. They make you feel as though they're not asking for much. Yeah. We want to first pass around a pan for the miracle dollar. And uh, I sat there, and one of my brothers, you know, places like that show whether you're paying attention to teaching. Yeah. 
One of my brothers, I was sitting in the pulpit, and I noticed he was about to put his dollar in the pan. Sitting right in the truth. Don't pay the truth no mind. Amen. And I yelled out, put your money in your pocket. That's right. That's right. And he said, oh, I forgot, Pastor Jennings. Yeah. After service, I got him. I said, you're heathen. That's right. You have to get the word in you. Yeah. The Bible forbids us to strip in the that hand of, of the evil, evil door. And Jeremiah, it forbids us. Yes. That's right. Doesn't it do so? Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. That's what? I've seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible things. What? They commit adultery. They commit adultery. And walk in lies. Walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. Listen, if a preacher got a second wife, and I know he got a second wife, and believe in remarriage and divorce, and calls us to preach, I'll go. Yeah. But he won't give you no offering. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you believe there's more than one God and want me to preach, I'll go. Won't give you no offering. No. No. no way. You believe that women can preach, but yet you don't believe in women pastors. Out the frying pan into the fire, it don't matter. Right. Won't give you no offering. That's right. That's right. You don't believe Jesus Christ is God? I go preach. Won't give you no offering. No offering. Believe in same-sex marriages and yet want us to preach? I'll go. Won't give you no offering That's if you right. believe it. That's right. In other words, if you got a belief that contradict the Bible, the size of a hair on a Campbell's nose Come on. won't give you no offering. No offering. That's right. Because if I do, they strengthen also the hands I'm of people. I'm strengthening the hands. I'm, I'm, I'm help supporting the lie you believe. That's right. That's right. Not going to happen. Amen. That's right. That's why many of them, they say, well, uh, oh, I didn't know he was like that. We won't call him then. <laughs> you don't have to call me. I, got, I, I have plenty of preaching to do. Amen. All around the world. I, that's, all right. that's all right. I won't miss you. No. Well, we thank God, but I let you know what we stand straight to your face. That's right. That's right. Well, Pastor Jen, I suppose they raise your offering. I don't want your dirty money. Yes. I don't want your dirty adulterous money. <laughs> That's right. I don't want your dirty homosexual money. No. Let me freely speak unto you. What? Let me freely speak unto you. Do you hear? Do you hear the apostle? In Acts chapter 2 and verse 29. The apostle Peter said, let me do what? Men and brethren. Men and brethren. Let me freely speak unto uh, you. Hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. to God. Yeah. We can speak freely. Freely. Yeah. Not tied down to this trash like these other men are. That's right. Let me freely speak unto you about the patriarch David. All right, let's go back to where we were. Back in Matthew 26 and verse 11. I want everybody to get this. This is a good eye-opening message. Oh, so yes. viewers, again, let me ask you. Do you got a pastor or do you watch a charlatan? Do you send money to any of these prosperity fellas? If you do, stop right now. Don't you write another check? That's right. That's right. Don't you write another check? Oh, Don't right. you let these televised liars put you on a guilt trip? That's right. That's right. I'ma show you in the scripture that your blessing is not determined by the amount of what you give. What you give. Give me the book of Matthew 12, chapter. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 12. Begin at verse 41, if I'm correct. Matthew chapter 12 and at verse 41. Follow me. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation. Let me see if that's what I want. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation. And shall condemn it. Yes. Because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. Yes. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. Yes. For she, for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth. To hear the wisdom of Solomon. Yes. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Yes. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. That's not what I want. Amen. I want the uh, the woman that gave the penny. Right, right. Versus right. them that are rich. Yes. Right. That Mark, I believe. That, that's in the book of St. Mark, Pastor. Book of Mark, begin at verse 40. In the 40. Book. Yeah, 12th chapter, book of Mark, begin at verse 40. Beg your pardon. Let's have it. Mark chapter 12, we're at verse 40. Yes. Well, we'll start at verse 39. All right. And the chief seats in the synagogues and the uppermost the, rooms at Begin feast. at verse 38. At verse 38. All right. And he said unto them in his doctrine. He said unto him, unto them. In his doctrine. In his preaching. Beware of the scribes. All right, viewers. Amen. Beware. That means look out. God is giving you a warning now. Beware. Beware. Look out. Of the look scribes. Look out. That's right. 
of the scribes. Which love to go in long clothing. They love to go in long clothing. That's why you see him coming up in the pulpit in his big preacher's robe. Bars all love. on his arms. That's right. And then he come behind you and say, let the church say amen. Yeah. Uh, let the church say amen. Uh, I was right. glad when he said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Or he'd get on television and <laughs> tell you the Lord said to him that if you send him $50, so see. Yes. So see. Oh, yeah. So see. That's right. In that ministry. In that ministry. All right, viewers, this is what you do now. This is, you may want to know what should you do. You got two options. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's. And to the nursery section. Get a pack of seeds. Or you can go to your neighborhood store and get a bag of sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. You know, my, my wife loved both of them, the pumpkins or the sunflowers. And send that to the preacher, the false right. prophet. That's right. And I guarantee he won't want that. No. I want to say, well, Pastor Jennings, how do you build all these churches? Don't the folks give money? Yes. Do you beg for it? No. No. We don't come in hypocrite and come to the church with our eyes closed. Church, the Lord have told me, hang and ning and ning and ning, hang and ning and ning and ning, hang and ning and ning and ning, ning and ning, ning. That's right. Jingling, jingling. <laughs> we don't do that. No. If we need a, if we got a crowd down there in Las Vegas, Nevada, or in Boston, Massachusetts, or in somewhere in Texas, we tell the folk, look, uh, we got about 100 or 200 members here. We want everybody to come together. Let's pull our resources and sacrifice an X amount of dollars that the church I found. Let's buy it. Yeah. That's what we do. That's right. Like how we got this campus. We outgrew Frankfurt Avenue. We send word out. All right. I'm asking everybody that can. That's what that's what I said. That's right. Them that can and will let sacrifice a thousand dollars a head so we can buy a new a new headquarters for us. That's right. I didn't get over there. The Lord told me if you do this, he'll give it back one billion fold. No. If you live in an apartment and you got about 12 kids and your apartment only got two rooms, common sense tell you you need to move. That's right. Do you need the Lord to come tell you? Move. <laughs> <laughs> we needed more room. So if them that was able to sacrifice, they sacrificed. Them that was not able, they sacrificed whatever they could. Right. And the one dollar giver was just as important as the thousand dollar giver. That's right. But in your church, they passed the pan around and Bishop washed it. That's right. And when that pan come back, Bishop said, wait a minute. Wait a minute, the Lord is talking to me now. The Lord is talking to me now. The Lord told me to tell you it's not enough in the pan. And the Lord told me to tell you you better dig a little deeper. That's right. And if you dig a little deeper, the Lord said he'll give it back to you 104. See that the Lord ain't said nothing. No. Oh no. Hear me, viewers. No. Your preacher, your television loving fraud that you love to look at is a liar. liar. How do they lie like this? How? How? Because their heart is more committed to making money. That's right. Which makes them not fear God because they are focused on the money. That's right. Listen at this. And he said unto them in his doctrine, beware of the scribes. Beware of the scribes. Which love to go in long clothing. Oh, and it. love salutations in the marketplace. Yes. And the chief seats in the synagogues. And the uppermost rooms at feasts. Which devour widows' houses. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Amen. They go do what? Which devour widows' houses. Hold it. Let's, let's itemize this. Devour. Oh, yeah. Here your husband died. Left you some money. Then the bishop get nice with the widow's sister. That's right. Tell her sister, 
Sister Brown, I know that Brother Brown was very faithful. Here, go here, go to your house. Yes, he will. Get all in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Notice the Holy Ghost only getting his arm. That's right. He ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. He got an arm ghost. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go in your house. Hallelujah. 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 Ah. Glory to God. It's all in his arm. Amen. Sit in your house. The Holy Ghost says what there? It's devour widows' house. They'll devour. And here she just got that devour. insurance check. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. And they'll say, you know, Mother Brown, the Lord, and watch his body language. Yeah. It's very aggressive. The Lord told me <laughs> to come to you. Mother Brown, the Lord told me that you should divide that insurance policy with me. Yeah. Look how slick he is. Oh, yeah. Then he will use Bible. Yeah. The woman only had enough meal to make cakes for her and the child. That's right. But she gave it first. To the man of God, Elijah. That's right. Viewers, even the devil, the devil. no scripture. Oh, yeah. And because you are ignorant of scripture, it empowers the false prophet in his misusage of scripture. That's, That's right. why if you remember when Jesus fast 40 days and 40 nights being led up by the spirit, and the devil was tempting him, yeah. it became a battle oh, yeah. of usage of scripture. The, scripture. the difference was the intent behind the usage of the scripture. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So he will manipulate you, he will con you to dig down in that wallet. Yeah. Then he will lie because his love for money moves him to lie with no fear. Yeah. The Lord told me to tell you, give me the money. Yeah. Viewers, have your pastor, have some television liar ever told you that? Mm. That if you didn't give him your house, part of your insurance, part of your savings, that you would be lost. Be lost. Fire will come down from heaven and burn your kitchen down. That's right. Your baby will die. Yeah. You will get sick. That's right. You will get stricken with cancer. Yeah. Or you will never be healed. Yeah. These men are lower than a dog. That's right. That's right. How did they become successful? Because of our ignorance of scripture. That's right. No policeman can push his will on you if you know the law. Because you can take the law and stand up against them. That's right. No false prophet can push his lies on you if you know the scripture. Yeah. You can stand up against him with your knowledge of the laws of God. That's right. That's why they tell you, don't you listen at that Geno Jennings? Yeah. Yeah. We come stripping everything buck naked. Yeah. That's right. So you can see what's under that. Yeah. Under those clothing. Oh, yeah. All of these prosperity preachers are fakers, liars, thieves. Pastor Jennings, do you mean all of them? All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. I don't care if it's your husband, he's one of them. Yeah. Your daddy, he's another one. That's right. Your uncle, he's one. He's one. Your best friend, yeah. he's, he's one. one. He's one. Hear the old troublemaker now. Which the Vow Widow's house. They are coming there and take everything. They are steal right. everything they can. That's right. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Amen. They devour. Which the Vow Widow's here, house. Here's the woman lost her husband. They don't wait because she's in mourning. Yeah. That's right. So therefore, she's emotionally distraught. So they prey upon her emotional state of being 
because now she's more vulnerable. They are no good. They are heathens. They ought that die and go to hell. That's right. Hear this. Which devour widows' houses. And for a pretense. Hold it. Amen. Focus on the language. Which devours widows' what houses. What else? And for a pretense. For what? Make long prayers. Next section right there. Stop right there. Right there. After they come and devour your house, what do they do? For a pretense, make long prayers. So they see you in mourning, sister widow, mother widow. Then they come to your house pretending like they're concerned. Yes. And when they come into your house, they don't want to appear greedy and anxious right away. That's right. So what do they do first? For a pretense, they pretend. Make long prayers. They sit next to you. For a pretense. Get, get that chair right there from behind the speaker, right in front of you, brother, real quickly now. Get that chair. Sit it right there in front. Sit it down there. Sit it right there in front. I got to demonstrate this. Come here, Sister Jennings. Come here. Come on. Make your way through there. Make your way through there. Make your way through there. Come on now. Have a seat right here. You're going to be, you're gonna be my widow this morning. Widow. The Bible says they do what? And for a pretense, make long prayers. So here you have the woman, husband is freshly dead. So she's emotionally distraught. <laughs> distraught. <laughs> so then the false prophet come and he do what? For a pretense. He don't want to show his grief right off the bat. No. So what does he do? For a pretense, make long prayers. He comes to your house. Sister Janice, God bless you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So you lost your honor. Do, do you mind if I pray a little bit? What is he doing? For a pretense, make long prayer. Here come gifts of the genus hands. Yes, I need oh, Father God. Oh, yeah. For a pretense. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hanana. Shanana. 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 Every type of tongue. That's right. Every type of tongue he can pull out of his bag. That's right. He gonna dump it on Sister Jen. Yeah. Did God ask you to help in the midst of her grieving? Yeah. Oh God, we all must lose somebody. That's true. Come on, Jim. Come on. For a pretense. What is he doing? For a pretense, make long prayers. He first gotta pretend like he's spiritual. Right. Because his next move is to devour. Widow's house. house. Yeah. That's right. All right. All right, you can go now. All right. I ain't dead yet now. That was just my wife. So. <laughs> he do what? And for a pretense, Take that make back long for prayers. For pretending, make long prayers. Every type of fake tongue. Yeah. He's so low. Yes, he, oh, yeah. he will lie on God quicker than you can spit. That's God right. said this. God said that. God said the other. God said the other. What make him lie? His greed yeah. is his self motivation. Oh, that's right. He's greedy for money. Greedy. Until the Bible called him a greedy, a dog, greedy dog, which can never have enough. have enough. Never. Are you getting this? Amen. Amen. He pretends. And for a pretense, make long prayers. Not that he means his prayer. No. Prayer is to manipulate the emotions yeah, right. of the dead, of the widow. Yeah. That's right. Listen. Which devour widow's house. Going to devour your house. And for a pretense, make long prayers. And? These shall receive greater damnation. Oh, they're going to hell for that. That's right. Uh -huh. And Jesus sat over against the treasure. Give chapter and verse again. Now in the book of St. Mark 12, we're at verse 41. All right. And Jesus sat over against the treasury. Pay attention, viewers. Pay attention, viewers. Amen. Jesus sat over. Sat over against the treasury. Near the treasury. And behold how the people cast money into the treasury. Jesus looked. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. He Amen. was observing. And beheld how the people. He beheld how the people. Pass money into the treasury. That's what I'm doing. Right. I'm beholding. Beholding. How you millions of folk. It's casting money in the hands, in the false churches, in the fake religion. That's right. 
That's the right. only thing you get in return is you're going to hell. That's yeah. right. No truth. No baptism in the name of Jesus no. Christ. You think that man is of God because you see signs and wonders. Go back and remember what we taught you earlier. That's right. Even the devil do signs God. and lying wonders. Yeah. Lying wonders. Oh, yeah. You thought it was only a God thing. Yeah. No, it's also a God of this world sure. thing. That's right. Who have blinded the minds of them who reject God that believe not. Believe not. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. But I heard him use the name of Jesus and the devil come out. Give me the 19th, 19th chapter, of, the chapter of, Acts. of Acts of, Acts. of the Apostles. That's and right. I'm going to give you a Bible where someone took it upon themselves. That's right. And used the Lord's name. That's right. And the devil did come out. That's right. Wonderful thing. That's right. And they didn't do it by God's permission. No. I want to give you a Bible to debunk every type of angle that these prosperity fakers will tell you, well, if this couldn't be done if I wasn't of God. You liar. That's a lie. You liar. We're going to smash it to hell. That's right. Come on. Acts chapter 19 and at verse 13. What is it? Then certain of the vagabond Jews exorcists. Certain. Certain. Of the vagabond Jews. Hold it. Amen. I have to itemize this. Yeah. Certain of the wandering Jews. That's right. There were Jews that wandered around. That's what a vagabond is. Vagabond. Certain of, of the vagabond Jews. Wandering Jews. Exorcists. Who were spiritualists. Not that they had the spirit of God. They just performed exorcisms. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Took upon them to call on them. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! They spoke about God's permission. Took upon them. Read the whole thing. Then certain of the vagabond Jews' exorcists took upon them to call over took them. Took upon them to call over they them. Had evil spirits. That read that. I want that whole statement complete. Amen. Took upon them then to read over them. To call over them the name of the okay. Lord Jesus. Yes. Took upon them. Took upon them to call to over call them. call over them. Which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus. They did what? took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus. No. God told them to do it. Took upon them to All right. Hey, 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 viewers. Hey, viewers. Amen. Your preacher is praying over you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Is he doing it by God's permission? Right. Or is he taking it upon themselves? That's right. Well, I got healed. So what? That's, That's right. That's right. Pastor Jenna, you mean to tell me a false prophet can use the name of Jesus and get results? Yes. Why? There's power. Right. In the name. That's right. Power. That's right. Power. That's right. In the name. That's right. Man. Do you hear the Bible speak plain? Then certain of the vagabond Jews exodus. Yes, yeah, now. Listen at this. Amen. You had Jesus that charged his apostles to go out. He said that repentance, that, that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. He also said, These signs shall follow them that believe. They shall speak of a new tongue. They shall cast out devils and everything. And they're going to all do it in his name. His name. All right. That's the believer. Now here you had some that the Bible says was what? Then, then certain of Give the Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 19 and verse 13. That's what? Then certain of the vagabonds. Certain Jews, of the wandering Jews. Exorcists. Exorcists. Took upon them. Took upon to them. over them. To call over them. had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus. They didn't get permission from God. Right. Oh, no. Took it upon themselves. That's right. To call over them. The name of the Lord the, Jesus. That had evil spirits in them. The name of the Lord Jesus. Saying, we adjure you by we Jesus. We adjure you by Jesus. Who Paul preaches. Oh. oh. We want to get you. We, we, we order you. We command you. That's right. By Jesus whom Paul preached. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests which did so. Yes. And the evil spirit answered and said. And wait a minute. I let you know the devil ain't no dummy. That's right. What did the evil spirit say? Answered and said, Jesus I know. Wait a minute. I know Jesus. Why you know Jesus, devil? Because he the one put me out of heaven. That's right. I know him very well. That's right. I thought I could upset stuff and, you know, get, get, get rid of him and I take his place and be God. 
Well, he was more powerful and threw me out. Right. And who else? Jesus I know and Paul I know. I know Paul because Paul used to work for me. Yeah. And then Jesus interfered with that and brought a life from heaven. That's right. And made Paul an apostle. Now Paul's giving me trouble. Yeah. But what? But who are ye? You hear you not of Jesus and you don't